Uh, greet everybody in the universal greeting of Assalamu Alaikum. In English, it means peace be unto you. Praise God, Lord of the universe, forever and ever and ever. Today, we're at the halfway mark of the fasting for Ramadan. Praise God. Praise God. God willing, today, I'm going to be all over the place, but I'm going to try to stay focused on the topic. Salat. I'm going to read some ayat from the Quran. Uh, Four, 101 to 106. When you travel during war, you commit no error by shortening your contact prayer. Salah. If you fear that the disbelievers may attack you, Surely the disbelievers are your ardent enemies. When you are with them and leave the contact prayer salat for them, let some of you stand guard. Let them hold their weapons and let them stand behind you as you prostrate. Then let the other group that has not prayed take their turn praying with you. While the others stand guard and hold their weapons, those who disbelieve wish to see you neglect your weapons and your equipment in order to attack you. Once and for all, you commit no error if you are hampered by rain or injury by putting down your weapons. So long as you remain alert, God has prepared for the disbelievers a shameful retribution. Once you complete your contact prayer salat, you should remember God while standing, sitting, or lying down. Once the war is over, you shall observe the contact prayers. Salah. The contact prayers are the creed for believers at specific times. I just want to give a little insight. You know, contact prayers a lot of the creed for the believers at specific times. I was, I was thinking about that last night and I was saying to myself, just like there's certain vibrational frequencies within, within the earth, I don't, I'm, I'm not really um, like, I should have done more research, but something came to me that at these certain times, maybe there's something unseen going on in the cosmic universe. And when you're connecting to Allah, when you're making them five prayers at this specific time, you're going to be getting this kind of power that's going to give you like a clarity and a strength. Because let me just say this, because, because from the Salat, the Salat gives you strength. The Salat gives you peace. The Salat gives you clarity. The Salat gives you direction and focus. This is why God said that the contact prayers are decreed for the believers at specific times. Why would God say at specific times? There's something that you're going to uh, um, um, gain at that specific time when you make that contact prayer at the specific time. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was saying, why? Why God says do this at a certain time and do that at a certain time? Because you will get an inner strength. You will build your soul. And as you build your soul, what happens? Your soul expands, as we was told by Dr. Rashad Khalifa, for the message of the continent, right? Right? You build your soul. Because what? The body is not the real you. The soul is the real you. Right? And we have seen through time and time again, people die. Everything they got stay here, right? The body goes in the ground, in the coffin. But what happens, right? Sometimes people have near-death experiences, and they say, I saw my body. I saw this light. God gives us signs to let us know that there's something after all this. There's something after all this. Why would the Creator create us and leave us out there in limbo? No! God gives 
Jesus signs. That's why if you're reading, you will understand and feel and know the signs. Because it will be in your mind. Because God is the one who created the mind. So this is why he said at specific times. And let me tell you, boy, getting up for father sometimes, if you can get your proper rest the night before, and you're all going to get up, I'm going to get up. But when you get up and do it, whoo, that day is smooth. It's a smooth day. Because when I don't make my father, I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm. that's how I am. I'm like that. But when I make that father, I plug in, I refill my soul tank. Like you got the car, the car gets the gas to make the motor run. Well, guess what? When I plug in in the morning, right, I fill my soul tank up. Because, listen, when we break it down, it's all about the soul. Right? Right? I mean, for those of us who know, but we was misled to think it's about the body and what we got and what you can get. But God tells us, no. He says, get yours of this world. Don't forget to get out. So, specific times. There's an energy, there's a power going on at the specific time that you can tap into. Okay? Now. Praise God, Lord of the universe. I'm going to read out. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be all over the place, but I'm going to try to keep my focus. Because so many things is coming at me. Okay, um... Okay, I read one on three, right? Yeah, okay. Now I'm at one on six. Say, sir, you shall implore God for forgiveness. God is forgiven, most merciful. So, you know what, no matter what we may have done, what we're struggling with, or whatever, we go to God. Because people may not forgive you. It is what it is. They may not forgive you, but God will forgive you. He says that. So, it's not about the people no more. Right? We go out and get in with her and him and that and I'm there. It's about God alone. God alone. He forgives. Most merciful. Okay? Now we're jumping off into Surah 14. Surah 14. Because 14. Bear with me. Because today we're at the halfway mark of the fast. Praise God. Okay. 35. 1435. Remember, we are Salah. Okay. Recall that Abraham said, My Lord, make this a peaceful land and protect me and my children from worshiping idols. My Lord. They have misled so many people. As for those who follow me, they belong with me. As for those who disobey me, you are forgiven, most merciful. Our Lord, I have settled a part of my family in this plantless valley at your sacred house. That means nothing grew there. Plantless. Nothing grew there. And there was a reason for that too. At your sacred house. Our Lord. They are to observe the contact prayers, Salah. So let throngs of people converge upon them and provide for them all kinds of fruits that they may be appreciative. Our Lord, you know whatever we conceal and whatever we declare. Nothing is hidden from God on earth nor in the heavens. God knows everything. He sees everything. He knows the thought before the thought is even thought. He know what you're going to do before you even think it. Even before you're thinking about thinking about doing it, doing it, he already know it. That's God. Yeah, only God can do that. Okay, let's bear with me. Okay, four. Praise be to God. 
for granting me, despite my old, despite my old age, Ishmael and Isaac, my Lord answers the prayers. The contact prayers is from God. My Lord, make me one who consistently. See, we gotta look at words consistently. It is say sometime, once in a while, next week, next year. Consistently observe the contact prayer salah. And also my children, our Lord, please answer my prayers. You know what I mean? Look, he said, please answer my prayers. This is what we got to do. Please, God, answer my prayer. Because sometimes things is going to be a little bit overwhelming for us, man. We're going to see some things that feel some kind of way about some situations. And guess what, man? We're going to want to respond and react, but we can't. So we say, please, my Lord, answer my prayers. I'm telling you, man, and many of us have done that. That's why we hear that. Because God heard our call, and he gave us a call. And we're here. It's deep. It's deep. It's this. Look at your own life experience. Don't look at mine. Look at yours and see what God has done for you. And you'll see. You will see and feel what God has done for you. And you'll see, man, God saved me from me. And then. Our Lord, please answer our prayers. My prayers. My Lord, forgive me and my parents and the believers for the day when the reckoning takes place. Do not ever think that God is unaware of what the transgressors are doing. We see what they're doing. We see it on TV, right? We hear people talking about it. We are talking about it. We know what's going on, right? But God tells us, do not ever think that, excuse me, do not ever think that God is unaware of what the transgressors are doing. He respites them until a day when the eyes stare in horror. As they rush out of the graves, their faces will be looking upward. Their eyes will not even blink. And their minds will be horrified. We ask God to protect us from that so we don't be horrified, but we will glorify. See, some going to be horrified and some going to be glorified. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, it's deep. It's, listen, boy, this is deep, man. Listen, God, uh, this is deep. This is deep. This is deep. You shall warn the people of the day when the retribution comes to them. Those who transgress will say, Our Lord, give us one more respite. We will then respond to your call and follow the messengers. Did you not swear in the past that you will last forever? You dwell in the homes of those before you who wronged their souls and you have seen clearly what we did to them. Wow. Clearly what we did to them. We have set many precedents for you. God is wise. We have set many precedents for you. On that note, let us repent.
Alhamdulillah Laila Khaylullah Praise God for the universe Today's topic is Salat Contact prayer To me, I was just, you know, anyway, me and Yasin, I had a Yasin, 36, yeah. Let me make sure I'm on. Okay, I'm correct. 45, yeah. Yet, yeah. when they are told, learn from your past to work righteousness for your future that you may attain mercy. So, you know, it's clear for us what God is saying. And, um, you know, God just, you know, speaks to us. You know, you don't got to have a Harvard degree and all these credentials and all that to know the Creator. Because, you know, He knows our heart. You know, we are here. We are building our soul. When you go to the gym, you build your body. When you do spiritual things, you build your soul. You try to change your life, right? Become a better person. Work on yourself. Work on you. Work on you. Yeah, work. That's why we're in the earth. To do what? The earth work. The earth work entails you working on you because you're going back in the earth. And when you go back in the earth, you want the earth to receive you with loving, open arms. You don't want the earth to curse you and say, yeah, come. <clears throat> no, you want the earth to receive you. Return back to me. Holding you. Inviting you. Yeah. That's what we want. Because we know that when the angels come and, get, and say, give up your souls, God is so wise. He lets us know what's going to happen in that occurrence. Some of us, the souls want to be gently pulled out. So we know, ooh, man, we good to go. And for some of us, and it's not about judging, no. It's about, you know, we build it. Violently. I pray I don't be in that situation. Yeah. And you know, the beautiful thing is, like I said, God lets us know what is going on, what is going to happen. So we cannot say, oh man, I didn't know. No, you knew. Somebody pulled your coat. That's why the jewel is so important. It's so important. It's important for me, and I know it's important for y'all, so we can get some soul food. I get some soul food from Brother David, Sister from Real, Cheryl from you. We get soul food. And then that'll carry me into the next tumor. But in the middle of that week, I'm still thinking about maybe some of the things you might, might have said at the tumor. I said, man, that brother, that sister got a point there. Let me, you know, and stuff like that. Like I said, we are building our souls and we are sailing to the Creator. Yeah, we're sailing to the Creator, the Lord of the universe. And the death call, it calls us. Death calls us. The death call calls us. And all our ships, because we are all individual ships, yeah, are directed. Yeah, because we're following a certain path. So we are being directed by God. Even when we want to bear off and do our own thing, as they call it, we still got something that brings us back. It's a head. We're being directed. And we say, dear God, forgive us. 
because we're conscious people. We know that if I do X, Y, and Z, you know, God says X, Y, and Z, and if we are conscious and we want to change, we say, man, I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have said that. Please forgive me. Or we go to that person and say, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have did that. Yeah. We have to do that. Because it helps us become more human inside. And we become um, less barbaric and we don't lose the humanity. Because if you look at the way things are going now, people have lost humanity. They don't care nothing about nobody. Just look around. What's going on? Yeah. And, it, and, and I'm not judging nobody. But what I'm saying is, the times, the reflected times now, thank God for Salah. Thank God that when suckers go on haywire and cuckoo, you can get centered, you know, get centered all over again, and go to your creator in Salah. You know? Because when you say Allah who Al-Kabir, or Allah who Akbar, Tafir, you are saying, I separate myself, my Lord, from all others. And now know, you are the greatest. And the only one who can help me. Mm -hmm. Think about the position. Allah Ali Kabir, your hands are going up. When your hands go up, that's a form of surrender. You're surrendering yourself to the Creator. Yeah. And you're saying, no one else, God, can help me. That's why I say, Allahu Akbar or Allah Ali Kabir. That's why. In the Ruku, the valley, looking down. If you look at Ruku, you're looking down, right? Four times. We may have felt depressed and held our heads down. Think about it, right? So when we come back up and we give all recognition to God for bringing us out of the many tests we face it. See, because if you fall, what happens? If you are wise, you can get back up. Get back up glorifying God, thanking God, and reaffirming your connection to the Creator. Because listen, listen, we all know that at the end of the day, without God, we have been lost. <laughs> yeah. So losing battle. If you think you can live in this world and not have faith, you will truck. Because faith has carried me, us, through all those storms and trials and tribulations when things was going haywire, we say, God, like, like going back, please, please, Lord, get me out of this. Please. Yeah. When you was by yourself and you was going through whatever you was going through and you knew nobody could help you but God. Yeah. Sajda is when we say, God, my thinking. Because when you're prostrating your forehead to the ground, right? This is just something that, you know, I was inspired. You know, I just want to share with you. You know, it's food for thought. Sajda is when we say, God, my thinking needs to connect with your higher. For I'm striving to know you. Yeah. That's why we do certain things because we reach certain levels and our faith increases. The less work you put into your spirituality, right? What happens? Your soul is small, right? You're not able to deal with things, you know, if you was really heavily locked into the path, to the faith, to the spirituality part. Because the material world and the physical world will overwhelm you. So spirituality, is very vital for our very existence. Because it is the faith 
the power of faith that has carried us and those before us, our ancestors. Yeah, the faith. So we prostrate our thinking. And this is when you are classified as a Semitic. When your thinking prostrates itself to the Creator, then you are a submitter, you are submitting. Because before knowledge came to us, we didn't know and we were astray. I can testify to that. Lost, no direction, afraid, scared. When we rise back up, we're saying, thank you, Lord, for you have strengthened me, strengthened us, to rise up out of darkness and into light. So now I reclaim internally and externally my sense of who you are. Because some activities, behaviors, can have taken us away from the Creator. And I'm gonna wind it down. Yeah, certain behaviors, actions, and so on and so forth, it takes us away from God. And I'm a living witness. I'm speaking from my experience, my experience, from what I felt in my life path. Yeah. See, it's, see, all in reality, it's about you looking at you and striving to become better than you was yesterday. You're not going to be perfect. You're not. As long as we stay in the race and we strive. Can't give up. Can't call on other gods beside God. It's, it ain't going to work. It's about God alone. So, you know, we separate ourselves from the disillusion of our way. You know, because sometimes we get in our own way. You know? And into humbly into your way. Thus, we become inspired. Yeah. The, the, the path is an inspiring path. It tells us, it, you know, it gives us hope. Because I'm going to tell you something. Without the hope, there is no hope. Now, in concluding, salaming out is when we look left to right, for we want to be aware of our directions. When you're crossing the street, what do you do? You look this way, you look that way. We want to be aware of where we are going. And we also want to be aware of our thoughts and not lose our way nor our peace of mind. Because at the end of the day, it's about having a peace of mind. Forget about what you got. Do you have a peace of mind? If you don't got that, everything you got don't mean nothing. So remember God in all our doings. Recognizing who you are and where you are going is the key. So, inshallah, you know, I hope and I feel that we did get something from the sermon. You know, um, all praise be to God. God is the great, the greatest. He forgives us. And that contact prayer is very, very important. And if you are unable, because God says you can lie down and you're traveling, so there's many ways to make this a lot. So guess what? We have been given an easy way out. It's not hard. Don't make it hard on yourself. Just sit back, relax, pick up the book, do what you got to do and vibe, and just, you know, like how God says, keep doing what we are doing until we obtain certainty and, and also until the inevitable comes. Certainty means that we know God got this. Let me get out the way. The inevitable means that death is coming. Prepare ourselves. Salam alaikum. Let's make prayer, inshallah.
الله علی کبیر الله علی کبیر بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين يا كنا أبو وإيا كنا سليم إننا سرط المستقيم سرط الذين نعم دلي حيث محضوب آله الدول الله الكبير الله الكبير بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إننا سرط المستقيم سرط الذين نعمت لهم أي المقبوب عليك المرتود الله الكبير الله الكبير الله الكبير الله الكبير الله الكبير أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله السلام عليكم السلام عليكم Very good, very good. Masha Allah.